fundamental part of C and C++ programming. Let's take a look at how this is done. I'm going to start by making a working copy of func.c. We're going to use the C version here, not the C++ version. And paste that into our working project and open it up in the editor. Now we're using C for this example because it's the lowest common denominator, but this is exactly the same in both C and C++. And it's a fundamental building block of all C and C++ programs. In fact, the function is the basis of methods in C++ classes, as you'll learn when we cover C++ classes and objects later on. So here we have a simple function. It's called func. It returns void, which means that it does not return a value at all. And it takes no arguments. And in fact, inside of the parentheses there, we could put the word void in the definition and also down here where it's actually defined. The above is actually a declaration, not a definition. We can put the word void there, and that would mean the same thing, that it does not take any arguments. But this is commonly done this way, and so we're doing it this way this time. So if we save this and run it, you'll see that it runs the function, and the function is defined down here. It's declared up above, and it's defined down after the main and it has this printf in it that prints the words, this is func. Now, the reason for this is because it's called before it's defined. So it's called here in main, and it's defined here after main. And in order for that to work, we have to declare it before the place where it's actually used. If I were to remove this declaration, and I can just comment it out here with a couple of slashes, and try to compile it and run it, you see we get errors. And these warnings, they say, implicit declaration. Now, in this case, the compiler is being a little bit forgiving, and it's allowing us to do it. But in reality, this is not allowed at all. So declare your functions before you use them. And you can avoid the entire need for a declaration by simply putting the function above the main and defining it there. And now when we run this, we don't need the forward declaration at all. It just works because the entire function is defined before it's used. So this declaration here, which just has the function signature, this is called a forward declaration, and these are typically put in header files. So that's how you define and declare a function. We'll get into many more details throughout this chapter. Now let's delete our func.c from our working project.